Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud of Junction. In today's video, we are looking into the fundamental network concept in Azure. Uh, the basic difference between a private IP address and a public IP address. You might heard these terms very often in your past or in your day-to-day -day work. But today we will break them down and, and with some example, we will try to understand when to use when to use which and why so let's first understand what is their ip address an ip address or a internet protocol address is a unique identifier for a device on a network uh, think it like your home address but your virtual machine or a server that is on uh, that is in cloud it's allowed devices to communicate with the each other so it is something like it has a unique identifier the other device on the network can identify you all right so what is a public ip address a public ip address in azure is used to allow communication to and from the internet when you assign a public ip address to a virtual machine or a load balancer it can access from anywhere in the world provided the right firewall and the energy rule in place for example if you host a website on an Azure virtual machine and wanted uh, users to access it from their browser, you will need to assign a public IP address to that virtual machine and, uh, and an Azure application gateway in front of it so that it can do it. Uh, if I say in, in a real world example, let's say your computer is launching a network marketing website and you deployed an application on Azure VM or an app service to allow that global audience can reach it so it should have a public ip address attached to it that is very essential to have that thing work now what is private ip address now private ip address uh, is assigned to a resource inside a virtual machine or a vnet it's not only reachable from intranet it also perfect i mean it this is perfect for internal communication look like a backend sql database or an internal api that could not be exposed to outside world but yes it can have a communication internally uh, resources in the sim same virtual vnet or a peered vnet can communicate uh, with each other using private uh, ip address securely if I say in real world example uh, imagine a backend sql server a VM a virtual machine storing sensitive customer data you don't want that data to be accessed from internet in that scenario a private private IP address will only be allowed to access those data internally by their internal network so that is called as private network so that is what a, a private IP address is so let's take an example uh, suppose we have a we have a resource group over here or we have a vnet over here that vnet is something start with 10.0.0.0 slash 16 under it we have a vnet we have a subnet created and the subnet is subnet a and the ip is 10.0.1.0 slash 24 suppose this is the ip address that we have associated to it under it you have created a virtual machine now this vm is called vm01 now in this vm there will be an ip address that get assigned automatically that is called as dynamic assignment and this ip would be coming from this ip address now that ip would be something called 10.0.0 4 dot no, sorry 1 dot 4 that would be your private ip address okay now if you want to attach the public ip address that's the optional thing that uh, you can attach if it's on your wish you want to do it that you will assign that will be also assigned and that ip would should let's come at 70 68 something like this this ip will come something like this so this is how a vm would be having a ip address attached now let's understand uh, basic difference between ip address pub, private ip address and the public ip address so if i say 
uh, in public IP, in private IP address, the scope is it has internal uh, within the VNet it's communicate, but the public IP address communicate globally with intranet. Uh, second is security. Uh, private IP address is more secure by default, but uh, in public IP address, if you want to make it secure, you need to add firewalls and energy rule to it. Uh, use cases uh, in private IP address, it is internally for app, DB and APIs, but public IP is basically for uh, public facing uh, endpoints, web servers, websites and so on. Cost, if I would say, uh, including in the VNet, there is no extra cost when we use a private IP address and it, it gets assigned automatically. Whenever you're creating a virtual machine, uh, I, private IP address by default will get assigned to it. But in public IP address, it is built separately. And we have a different SKUs also, basic and standard, that we will discuss in next video. But that is how uh, this, this, this is how a basic difference between a public IP address and a private IP address. So if I talk about the security consideration, when you use a public IP address, security become critical and always apply energies, firewall, third party applicable appliances when, uh, whenever you are using, when I, whenever you are dealing with the public IP address, DDoS protection is, is needed. Uh, in some of the cases, in private uh, in private IP address, uh, you can enhance your security using network seg segmentations. You can use private endpoints to set the, in your uh, services like storage, SQL, Key Vault, uh, bastions for secure RDP access without having a public IP address to a virtual machine. So let's do one thing. Let's try to create a Azure virtual machine and and see how that IP address assignment work. Uh, now I am on my Azure portal. So let's try to create a virtual machine and see how the uh, assignment of public and private IP address look like when we create a new virtual machine. So uh, let's create a virtual machine. Uh, resource group, I will use the network watcher RG. It's a temporary virtual machine. Uh, public IP demo. Let's put a name demo vm and availability standard let's take it this one and you have to give a username and password all right because we have to allow rdp rule and it will allow an ip address to associate it so we have we are allowing it now if i go to networking section if i jump into the networking section now if i drop down there is already a test vnet that it will create it the ip address that will assign it the subnet that it is going to assign is 10.0.24 and now you have this public ip address now i have told you that this is a option that is something that you have to choose it it is an optional subject or optional object uh, you see, it is an optional step. So if I don't want to use the public IP, I can straight away say no, and then the VM will be created. One as automatically assigned IP address will be assigned to the uh, assigned to the virtual machine. That will be a private IP address, not a public IP address. And if I click on demo IP address, it will create a public IP address and assign it to it. So and uh, we let's review and create it. And let's see what we will get into the, those resources. So meanwhile, uh, the virtual machine is created. Uh, when to use what? This question will come into mind. Using a private IP address for internal apps like uh, internal uh, applications, this, uh, DBs, servers that require internal communication and anything you don't want to expose to internet, then definitely a private IP address is a good choice. That is only a choice, uh, no, not, not a good choice, but using a public ID, anything that required access to internet, like uh, website, APIs, or, uh, you know, an applications that required external facing services to the internet, those required public IP address to assigned. So in many cases, uh, 
there is possibility that combination of both is the best approach using like a public IP address as a front end access and a private IP address as an internal communication. Yeah, this kind of communication, this kind of approach will also be there. So if I take a uh, in day to day uh, scenario, uh, you are building an e-commerce application in Azure. So you would be deploying a front end running on your app service in public IP address app connect to SQL database using a private IP address or a endpoint using private IP address and a jump box or a best in host with the admin access without having an internal uh, uh, any any internal VM so it will be having a public IP address it will be launched to a public IP address so this is a kind of hybrid setup a balance of accessibility and security uh, in cloud so now our VM has been created so if I go on my virtual machine, you will find that uh, the public IP address is 10. Dot, uh, sorry, 172.200.441.50, and the public IP, the private IP address that that is got assigned is is not this. If I click on this one, you will see a configuration page will open. That is the IP address configuration page, and that this this is how it shows that is a it's a static IP address. And in properties, you will find that it is a standard SKU. We will talk about the SKU in the next video. So this was a small introduction about what is what is the basic difference between a private IP address and a public IP address. In the next video, we will talk about the IP address SKUs, basic and standard. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.